Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. Today I'm doing a video that I've not done for over eight months and I cannot believe it's been eight months but I finally got the chance to go to the flagship Primark in Birmingham which is my hometown so I feel very at home there and I went with my mum and I picked up quite a few things I've got three bags I've, I've I'm not even joking I've got one we got two <laughs> and I've got three down here because flagship Primark is the best Primark. If you've never been, it is literally the biggest Primark in the world, I believe. It's got a Disney cafe, it's got a Greg's cafe where you can sit and eat. It has got a lot of things, but their homeware section is unlike any other. I've got clothes, I've got homeware, I've got many, many things. So if that's your cup of tea, then keep on watching. And hey, if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go, because... I haven't looked in these bags since I got back from Primark at the weekend, so I feel like I'm gonna rediscover all of the amazing things. I'm gonna do this in sections. So we've got homeware, we've got clothing, we've got bath and beauty, and we have accessories. I'm gonna kick it off with the homeware because that's one of my favorite things. And I did pick up a couple of things which I'm quite excited about. And I am actually gonna start off <laughs> with this really cute mug. I don't need any more mugs, I know, but I think they have actually released this before and it's a chip mug from Beauty and the Beast and I just couldn't say no. This cost five pounds. Let me open it for you guys because I've not actually taken it out of the box since buying it. Oh my god, it's absolutely adorable. So here is the mug. They did actually have a teapot to go with it, Mrs. Potts, but I did not need a teapot, but I just thought, oh my goodness, I need this for when I'm having like a morning coffee. <laughs> it's very, very cute and it is one of, oh, it's even got the chip on it. <laughs> How could I say no? Next up, I did get some home scenting products. This is a eucalyptus and rosemary reed diffuser. Now, I'm not sure, oh, it does. I didn't think it had reeds with it. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna buy that because I've got like loads of new reeds to use at home. So this, anyway, um, I have reeds already, but it does come with some. And this little set cost six pounds, but I think my favorite thing was actually the ceramic, pot that it comes with. I just really liked the colours of it. This is the little ceramic pot. I just really liked the kind of turquoisey, sagey greens and it'll go perfect in places like my living room. I like that it's reusable and you can fill, just get loads of different things to fill it with. I was like, yes, we like to see it. I can dishwash it, which is amazing. Sticking with the home fragrances, I did also pick up a brand new home reed diffuser. These apparently last up to eight weeks. I'm not sure if they last that long, but either way, I got one of those little, you know the little scent sachets that are like scented tea bags, but for your house and they make your room smell nice. I bought one last year. It was probably in the last haul actually. And I got one in the scent cashmere. And when I say it's delicious, you gotta believe me, it smells so good. This is full size reed diffuser. And it only costs three pounds, would you believe? Leave. like these are really nicely sized as well so we've got the reeds and then oh if I can get in there we have the full-sized diffuser at the bottom and these are just lovely they look great everywhere in a home and the, if you, I just like my house to smell so good the amount of plugins reed diffusers and air fresheners that I have I've got a problem but either way three pounds and you know what, I'm gonna sniff it. I know you guys can't sniff it and I do apologize, but I am gonna, oh yeah, it's just a really comforting, just a really comforting, pleasant smell. Do recommend this scent. But I am aware that scents are quite personal. So you may get it and then hate it. Okay, the next three things you're gonna think are so random. These cost £1.50 each. <laughs> These are like faux, is it eucalyptus or 
I'm not sure what the actual plant is, but I bought these because I want to get back into doing some more flat lays on Instagram. And these are the kind of thing that just add a pop of colour and a little bit of nature to them. So I got this one, which is more of a natural colour, kind of like a vintagey green. Very nice. And what I did like about these was all of the leaves can rotate so that you can style them to how you want them to look and there's no like upside down leaves and that kind of thing. So I got a kind of natural looking one that looked a bit vintage. And then I did get a slightly more green one. Again, £1.50 for these. Like, look how cute that looks. It just makes the table look adorable. And then I thought for an extra different pop of colour, I would get this kind of blush pink one, which I quite liked and I've not seen before. So yes, those are definitely props for Instagram and work. They will be going into a prop box into my garage. And I just thought they were great. If you're into doing Instagrams and I don't know, if you've got like a book Instagram or something or anything that you want to show, buying stuff like this is the perfect prop. So there you go. Let's move on to clothing. I don't need more socks, but I could not really this guys I bought these Disney socks because Snow White and the Seven Dwarves were my all-time favorite it was my favorite film growing up along with Bambi but yes look how cute these are we've got dopey on there oh my god we've got grumpy <laughs> I just thought they were so cute there's three pairs of socks here and they cost four pounds and they are the really nice kind of socks like they're not too long they're kind of ribbed here and I was like these are perfect running socks and I'm doing a lot of running at the moment so I did pick these up mainly because I just could not resist the fact that they have little dwarves on it I just really liked them I thought they were very cute the next socks I bought may or may not be a gift for cameraman Chris <laughs> hi <laughs> He's probably editing this, being like, what has she bought? <laughs> Eye rolling. Look, dude, I couldn't resist. They had Greg socks, and I was like, you and me love Greg, so... <laughs> I got five pairs of Greg socks. Look, Chris, they've got little sausage rolls. How could you decline these? And, oh, just baked. Just roll with it, and then the Greg's logo. So, yes, I did buy these for you, Chris. You're welcome. I'll give them to you next time I see you. Um, these cost eight pounds. <laughs> Honestly, I did want to buy them for myself, but I don't need more socks and I like gifting socks. So there you have it. We've got some official Greg's socks from Primark. Here are all of the designs if you wanted a closer look at them. I just think they're so funny. Look, I was dedicated to the meme. Apparently, I just decided to go sock crazy on this trip. I got some more Disney socks. These are part of the Disney 100 range because it is the anniversary of 100 years. And um, I'll be honest, I didn't buy these for the Mickey socks, though I do like those. I actually bought these for the Donald socks. You can kind of see down there that there is a grumpy Donald duck and I could not resist. And then there's some more Mickey ones on the back. But I thought those were very sweet and these cost four pounds for three pairs and they're the kind of gym socks again. I'm kind of into these gym socks at the moment. Perhaps the best bargain of the trip was this t-shirt which was in the men's section. I've got to say Primark, why do you gatekeep all of the good designs for the men's sections? Like all of the Stranger Things stuff was in men's. Like women don't like Stranger Things. I'm obsessed with Stranger Things. Anyway, this was reduced from eight pounds to four pounds and I got it in a size medium but it is official Netflix and Stranger Things themed and it is oh look at it <laughs> this is definitely oversized for me but this is the surfer boy pizza like branding from that in Strange Things and on the back look at this delivered hot to your door and it's got the telephone number for it as well so I can pretend that I work for surfer boy t-shirt t-shirt <laughs> I can pretend that I work for surfer boy pizza I just thought it was so cool and the fact that it was only four pounds I wasn't gonna leave until I had this in my basket and I was just obsessed so that's probably the t-shirt I am most excited about. Though saying that, I did find a very cool jumper. And I might be showing my age here, but growing up, I was obsessed with Tom and Jerry. So this is an official Tom and Jerry 
collaboration with Primark and this costs £14. So this is a jumper. Oh, I love the little label as well. So cute. This is a jumper and it's got, it's a black one. <laughs> It's got Tom on it. And then you think, oh, well, where's Jerry? Hiding down here. <laughs> Jerry's actually embroidered. Tom isn't. But I just thought this was so cute. And I was like, oh, they have my size. Honestly, I find Primark a hit or miss when it comes to sizes. A lot of the popular ones, mainly like size 12s, tend to sell out really quick. The same with like size 6 shoes. But yeah, they had my size. It was on a different hanger though, so I felt really lucky. But yes, this is the Tom and Jerry black jumper it wasn't cropped as well i was like hallelujah i can't be dealing with all these cropped jumpers i'm sure there's a lot of you watching that are like oh i love crop t-shirts and stuff sometimes i just want to shop and buy a normal sized t-shirt or jumper that covers my midriff and my middle like anyway so the fact this was not cropped thrilled me with a lot of joy long sleeve soft normal length and the cutest design how could i say no i mean clearly i didn't say no to any of this stuff but i was very excited about this little jumper next is a shirt which i did buy with instagram in mind i just saw this and i was like well if that's not a honey duke shirt i don't know what is like i imagine honey duke staff from harry potter would wear this with like a little staff pin and I was just like, yes, this cost £12. I did buy this for a potential little photo shoot in the future. But here it is. It's got a really nice collar. It's buttoned. But yes, that kind of green and pink. I instantly just went honey jukes. That is honey jukes. So I'm going to whip out my chocolate frogs and my Bertie Bot beans or something. And hopefully take a picture with this in the future so this isn't something that i'm gonna wear every day put it that way i definitely bought it with instagram in mind but what do you guys think does this scream honey jukes to you it did to me the next and final item of clothing was definitely an impulse purchase but it's because i don't own one of these and i <laughs> i don't know if this is like a grandma purchase i do not own a nighty like a t-shirt that's really long i have loads of pajamas but i don't own a nighty and i saw this one in the disney 100 section and i really liked it so i did buy it um because of course it's bambi i was telling you about snow white and bambi earlier um this was 11 pounds here is the disney 100 oh i didn't even see the back it's got Bambi on the back. I used to have a Bambi cuddly toy growing up in my pushchair and I remember losing it and we never found it and I was heartbroken. So I'm basically healing my inner child by buying this. This is the design. Oh, it's got the book on the front and it says Walt Disney's Bambi and it's got like all these flowers oh his little face oh look it's so adorable the eyelashes are on fleek but yes this is a really long nighty t-shirt and it's oversized i got it in a size medium i could have got away with the small because even that was absolutely massive but i think if you're just chilling out you want something that's like really comfy and not tight fitting but yes i i love it i just thought it was cute I, just, I was just like, mom, I need to get it. <laughs> so I did. They had quite a lot of different nighty designs. There was some Sex in the City ones. There was loads of Disney ones. I think there was like a Winnie the Pooh one. And, but yes, this one, it stole my heart. It stole my heart. Okay, next we are going to be looking inside this bag, which is Bath and Beauty, but mainly False Nails. <laughs> If you know me, a lot of the time I am wearing false nails. I'm not wearing them today. I'm giving them a little bit of a breather. But I am one of these people, to be fair, I have spent hours of my life painting my own acrylic nails. But sometimes you just cannot be bothered. And I don't see the point when places like Primark sell them for a reasonable, in fact, more than reasonable price. Like some of these are like £2.50. Some of these are a pound and they look professional when you're wearing them. So <laughs> I'm gonna start with my current obsession and why I bought 
five pairs of these because I, I just know that they're going to discontinue them and they are my favourite design of false nail that they do. So these are the embellished nails in Galaxy and these are my current favourite witchy nails. A lot of you guys would have seen these already but they are perfect so I do have quite... <laughs> I just didn't want to be without them. They're so witchy and amazing. So I stocked up on these because they are my favorite ones. And I'm sure now that I've shown you them, they're gonna sell out probably quite quickly and I'll never be able to get them or wear them ever again. But look, it's fine. I'm sharing the goods with you. I'm not gonna gatekeep the most amazing nails ever. But these literally last one to two weeks. I would recommend using real nail glue and not the nail glue that comes with them because I find that it's not as good. But yes, these are so cute. Like, oh, they just give celestial vibes. I did also pick up um, some different designs. So I got some sparkly French manicure. So they've just got golden tips. And I liked that the kind of neutral color wasn't translucent. I find with a lot of these nails, in fact, some of these are um, translucent and they show the nail underneath. That's not really my vibe, but the fact these were opaque, I was quite happy with that. These were pound fifty. I also got these, which are the translucent ones so we'll see how they look but I did love the design of these so these are called pop and these are abstract French nails and these were £2.50 these I thought were adorable for spring or summer these are the square gloss ones oh my god that's so clever it's got like a little try me on section and you can literally see how they're going to look on your nails that's so cute I've not seen that packaging before these were £2.50 and I just thought yes cute flowers spring summer i'm sold i love sage green so i did pick up some of these pointed glossy ones in sage i can match my living room uh these were a pound a pound for two weeks of nails and then these were something a little bit more out there these are the marble smoke haze ones and these cost two pound fifty but look it's kind of like it reminded me of like some sort of poisoned potion or some sort of magical wisps i don't know i just really liked those so yes i am so well stocked with nails that i'm not going to need to buy any for a very long time especially as getting them done professionally which i definitely did get done a few times last year and i really enjoyed it i used to get like the um gel extensions and um it costs like 60 to 80 pounds and that's a lot on some nails that last maybe four weeks before they start looking a bit daft because they've grown out. So yes, this is definitely more my cup of tea. Cheap and cheerful, looks cute. Moving on to a few bath products. I thought you guys would love to see this. This is a Wizarding World Harry Potter bath bomb that costs £2.50. And depending on what Hogwarts house you are, it will turn that color. It's basically a sorting hat bath bomb uh, i just thought that was so fun i'm not really sure what the print on there is meant to be i think it's each house kind of thing either way i'd not seen these before but these are the house reveal bath fizzers and for two pound fifty i thought that's that's not too bad so if you want to get yourself a really fun bath bomb and see what house it's going to put you in head on down to primark and treat yourself i did also get a different bath bomb because i thought it was really cute and it was this mini mouse one this cost two pounds i really liked the packaging and it's strawberry scented uh i think i might use this one next when i have a bath but i just thought that what lovely packaging and i do quite like a strawberry scent in my bath so there we have it next up we're going to be moving on to accessories i only have two accessories that i bought i very rarely fall in love with or care that much about tote bags but i saw this one guys and i was just like oh my god it's got a zip i didn't even know it had a zip it's got pockets inside it's got a zipped pocket and then it has two open pockets but the actual full bag oh, zips i didn't realize it zipped so this makes it 10 times even better this was 12 pounds it's this kind of like fake wool material it feels really like heavy duty and sturdy i liked it because it fits so comfortably 
it kind of goes with what I'm wearing today. Um, it fits so comfortably over my shoulder. And I was like, if I'm just popping out to like the post office or for a really small food shop, then this is going to be perfect because as much as I love my little handbags, sometimes I have errands to run where I need more space. And I thought this is absolutely perfect. I didn't see it in a, any other colors, but honestly, turquoise is one of my favorite colors anyway. So I was quite lucky and fortunate with that. And I cannot wait to start using this. I think it's really, really nice. And then last, but certainly not least in this Primark haul, I bought myself a beret. I've actually bought myself two berets this month. I got really Really nice black one with this like skull safety pin in it from Disturbia which I've not worn yet but I also found this one which was kind of like this kind of coffee oatmeal-y colour and this is from their Primark Cares range so this is made using recycled polyester so all of this range recycled and I really love that Primark are doing that I find that range really fun and they have a lot a lot of nice products so yes this was £2.50 but it's just a cute little I mean I've not even tried it on it's still got the tag on I think I'm a beret person now guys <laughs> oh my god isn't it adorable I can't cope like Oh, this is going to be my new favourite hat. I can feel it. I'm for £2.50. Okay, run. Do not walk to Primark because this is absolutely adorable. Oh, I love it. I actually love it. So there we have it. That is everything that I got from Primark. Let me know what were the things that you loved the most. Is there anything that has made you go, oh, I need to get down to Primark now? Let me know in the comment down below. I'll be sure to reply to some of those. And hey, if you've got this far in the video, firstly, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Secondly, can you give this video a quick thumbs up for me? It's free, it's fr it takes one second, and it always really helps me out. But yeah, thank you for watching. I love Primark, and yeah, it's nice to do a big trip like this. Uh, I usually go like one to two times a year, and I always share it with you guys. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't, if you like these kind of videos, because there'll be sure more of them in the future. And I will see you guys soon. Right, I am gonna like go take a selfie or something in this hat because it's absolutely adorable. Is it not? <laughs>